So this is probably the coolest Notion hack I've seen in a long time. So when you think of Notion, you think of notes, databases and templates. And Notion is powerful because of its databases and templates. But when you make databases and templates, you have to decide what to include and how to organize them. Starting from scratch can be really, really hard. And if you change the topic for the database or the template, you have to start all over again. The question is, is there a perfect solution for this? The solution I'm looking for is something that took an hour or more of my time to be completed in just minutes with this approach. So most Notion's tools solve a specific problem, like buttons solves an automation problem. Wiki solves a database and free from page structuring problem. Formulae solve missing database functionality problem. And rollups and relations solve a linkage problem. There is one functionality that has a much wider application and that's Notion AI. And that helps across the Notion workspace. But the challenge here is coming up with the perfect set of prompts that will help you achieve that solution. Let's say you want to track your software subscriptions. When you start from scratch, there are a few things that pop up in your mind, like the name of the subscription and the expiry date. However, your mind often can't think of all the options at once. You can take the help of Notion AI for this. There are two prompts we will use here. Let's start with the first one. Brainstorm a list of database properties for a Notion database called My Subscription Software Database with short descriptions and property type. Within brackets, format property name as property type colon description. So if you notice here, you've included the property type and descriptions and you will see how it will help us a little later in the video. You also want a header at the beginning. So I'll add in a specific line. At the top, include an H2 header labeled database properties for my subscription software database. To make things easy, I've included that into my Stream Deck buttons and I've generalized the same so that I just give the name of the database and the rest can be triggered correctly every single time. Now, when I invoke this AI prompt, this is what I get. I can always ask AI to redo it till I find something much more acceptable. The output is generated as a list and that's what I want. And now it's time to go through the properties, tinker with it and add anything that's missing. So like in this case, I would need to add in the formula itself. That'll help me flag off if it's overdue or not. The second prompt goes like this. Convert into an inline database with two rows of real life example data. Every property should be a column. So I'm doing two things here. I want to create a table and by pushing in real life example data, I'm making it create a table in a columnar formation. Without this, the database structure doesn't come out properly and it ends up creating a table with just two columns. And that's not what we want. When you generate the output, it'll come out as a simple table. AI doesn't generate database table. So what we'll do is click on the six dots and convert this into a database. What's also a pain is that it doesn't take these as column headers. So I will have to manually translate the names of the properties and give it the property type, which I already have. So recreating this should be quite easy now. Let's just do that, shall we? Okay, so now we're done. Now the final part of this is to insert the overdue formula. And we're going to check that against today's date. The formula uses the now syntax and that throws up today's time as well. And we want to eliminate the time. The logic for the formula is if the difference between today's date and the renewal date is less than zero, then we want to stay true. Otherwise, it's false. Now if you want to create a habit tracker, instead of a subscription database. All you do is change the query to that of a habit tracker and the whole thing is automatically generated. And that's with just a few clicks. So if you like the video, hit the like button. And for more such incredible videos, 
around Notion and productivity, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified of more such videos. Till the next one, adios amigos.